so bored. Are you bored of lockdown? <laughs> hello, everyone. Oh, hello. I'm going to have to get used to this because I'm not used to shooting on a vlogging camera. Um, I'm used to shooting in my nice controlled studio with lots of lighting and powder on my face and an overexposed camera. But a lot of you have been wanting vlogs. Um, I have been promising them for quite some time. And now that we're quarantined basically we're not quarantined i haven't got the virus at all um but we are advised to stay in our homes well i think we're now forced to stay in our homes which is fine by me um will and i recently moved from our house in a neighboring village to a house a big house on the farm a farmhouse and um we're still getting everything in order um, I must say the whole situation hasn't helped, but first world problems. But I am going to go through my daily life with you, um, show you what we get up to in our new house and on the farm. I'm not promising it's gonna be an exciting vlog, but I hope it's going to be interesting and maybe relaxing for you, something to take your mind off things. I've started off the day with a coffee in bed with Will. We watched the news and um, we had breakfast together and now i'm going to do my daily 5k around the farm with this little one diego my absolute best friend you're so sweet but you are ready for your walk now aren't you he's had his breakfast and he knows what's coming next so i'm going to get started um you've got to ignore all of the boxes everywhere and the dog toys like that one um we've not unpacked properly yet because we don't have any furniture because we've never lived in such a big house before <laughs> do you like my ridiculous sun hat it's so long um i ordered it from china because i know that in the asian countries they are very aware of the effects of sun on skin so this is what i use but maybe it is a little bit excessive <laughs> okay look at that tail <laughs> Come on then. Straight to the stick pile. There's a pile of sticks over there and he brings them all over the garden. <laughs> ah, ah, Diego, come back, come on. Oh, there it is. There's the stick every bloody day. <laughs> I've been listening to something really good at the moment on Audible. It is Louis Theroux's um, autobiography. Um, I mean, I'm on chapter 16. And it's so interesting to hear about all his experiences. He's, um, he's a documentary maker for the BBC. I am a huge fan of Audible. I use it every day. It really helps me run. And especially in these times when we're so bored at home. Um, you can get a free audiobook. So I'll leave the link in the description box. That's a 30 day free trial at Audible. A free book. And I've got some recommendations for some ones that I really enjoyed down there as well. Come on then, Diego. He knows what time it is. My good boy. <sighs> well, that took it out of me. Give me your paw. Good boy. This way as well. Give it to me. Good boy. Can they come through? I've just bought a steamer from Amazon um, to see if it will help me just quickly iron clothes before going on camera. Um, oh, actually, I will admit it. That is quite good. Oh, I got the Home Easy one. It wasn't very expensive at all. I'll link it down below if you're interested. Hello, everyone. I'm here in my steamed shirt. <laughs> it did work quite well, actually. Oh, sorry, I'm covering my face. As I said, Will is working on the fields today. He is doing some drilling, so he's putting seed into the ground and he's at another bit of the farm which is a little way away so i've got to bring him lunch on the tractor and i'll have to drive to go and give that to him so i'll bring the camera with, with me and you can have a look it is actually really hard to get a hold of food at the moment because we live quite in a quite an isolated place um, i have a food delivery order every monday everyone seems to have the same idea um their orders have gone through the roof i have queued for hours, hours and hours. So Ocado is an online supermarket that I've used for years and I've got an order on there at the moment but I haven't checked out yet so all the stuff's gonna um, go out of stock. So I have been waiting for hours to get through this queue. I've got seven seconds left. 
Oh! Oh, you're joking! Okay, I've got my face on. I'm now going to brave the supermarkets. Now, we have been told to not go out unless it's for essential food or medicines. I consider general household items to be included in that, so I am going to get body wash and shampoo and things like that. Um, and I also need to get bread because without bread, there is no lunch. I can't just give Will a stack of ham. Although he would love that, he would. Right, I'll see you in a bit. I've just got in my car, I'm on the fuel reserve, so I'll have to get that um, filled up as well. But look who's so upset. He wanted to come with me. Oh, he's gone. And of course, all of the toilet roll is gone. There is a lot of cat food left, that's great. Loads of yogurts, but two cartons of milk. Oh, fine, if I'm forced to have cream in my coffee, I will. So, I didn't really want to film in there out of respect for the summer, but it was so weird. It was completely empty. There were a couple of people, no one was making eye contact. Lots of the shelves were um, empty, like milk very odd very bizarre and also i was being so stupid earlier of course i'm not going to go to boots um i've just had a thought in the car i was thinking how selfish of me so yeah i'm going straight home i'm gonna make will his lunch now i just bought some bread some lemons some salad the main thing i needed was bread really but yeah i'll see you when i'm back home okay i'm home i'm in my beautiful fluorescent lit kitchen <laughs> um the supermarket was an experience it freaked me out a little bit it's um so weird seeing everything so different to how it was before um just making my lunch and will's lunch um for me i've bought these new containers i really like them i'm having leftover salad we had this on the side of our sea bass last night <laughs> make him two he is enormous and needs a lot of food and then instead of butter at the moment I'm doing mayo and then on I always put on a little bit of mustard as well this is grainy mustard put it like that I shall put that on the other side as well make it a bit more exciting for him and then just mix it together and it's basically like salad cream better. Sorry, I am in a little bit of a rush. Ooh, someone needs me. No, oh, it's my editor. Um, and I've got, normally I get ham from the butchers, but they looked so overloaded when I went there that I didn't want to bother them anymore. It's so weird because I always get all of my food from local, or as much food as I can from local providers. Um, and I always think it's so important to do that, but now I can't even get into my local providers because they're so overwhelmed by everyone who doesn't normally use them. So I am hoping that these people who are suddenly starting to use local providers like the milkmen, um, bakeries, butchers and um the we've got a fruit fruit and veg grocer as well which is amazing um it's all plastic free um i hope after this one positive that can come out of it is that people continue using them right that should do and then william is very particular about the way his sandwiches are cut he does not like them cut like that. He likes them at, at, in triangles. So, there we are. And then I'm gonna quickly eat mine and then I'm gonna deliver. So excuse the mess, but into his little sandwich bag, I'm putting the sandwiches. I'm also putting apple and banana can of apple tizer because I know he loves them and which one will he want today he had the salted caramel one yesterday I'm gonna do him a trip blackjack bar that should sort him oh my god and how could I forget 
beef flavoured hula hoops. The only, the only non-spicy crisps left in the supermarket. Not sure how he'll feel about those, but he should feel lucky that he's got anything. Bet this is really not good for my car. Oh my god. So I'm desperate to get a new car. I really would like an electric one. But I do need it to be a four-wheel drive and something a little bit bigger. Uh, something that fits a dog in the boot, actually. There's the forklift. Oh, there's a hole. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so much effort. Oh, look at that view. We had a picnic at the top of here once and it was the windiest day ever. Right, where is he? Coming for his lunch. Oh, he's waving me to come over. Oh God. Thank God I've got my wellies on. What am I meant to chase you? <laughs> this is ridiculous, he's making me walk. What do you think of the crisps? Good choice. Really? They were the only non-spicy crisps left in the supermarket. Have spice. Yeah, no, isn't he gorgeous? <laughs> I will bring that man lunch every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> right, now it's time to hop back in the very out of place mini. Because I've got a meeting at two o'clock. He's noticed me. Hello, hello, <laughs> you're showing your teeth, you're going to smile. Ugh. What's that? No. Excuse me, dead. Good boy, that was a bit slow, go on, go weebies. All right, my meeting is done and I've got my ridiculous bonnet on. <laughs> um, this is because I'm going on a dog walk and it's very sunny outside and I never allow my face in the sun. But first, I'm gonna use my new toy. Also, do you like my nails? <laughs> Lockdown problems, it's fine, I'll, I'll get over it. I'm not that worried. Um, yes, we're gonna try out my new toys, which are these. They are my new washer and dryer i have wanted mila mila tell me any germans around please tell me what the pronunciation is is it mila well i've wanted mila appliances my entire life i've never been able to afford them look at me in my stupid hat um we're planning to stay here for a very long time we're probably going to be on the farm for the rest of our lives um so i want to buy something that will last so i think over the years, the cost of these will actually make the purchase very much worth it, worth it because um, I've had some terrible washing machines in the past. Um, they are a bit ridiculous. Um, they connect to the internet. <laughs> I can start on my mobile. Um, oh, there he goes. Bye-bye. Um, they are, yeah, a lot of kind of things that I don't necessarily need. Um, but I'll show you what I use for washing because I'm quite, quite happy with my laundry routine. I use this EcoZone laundry capsules. I don't really think they smell of anything, which is good because I add my own fragrance. So I put that in the drum and then I just put, it's mainly exercise clothes. Um, oh, hello, give me a bit of lunch. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I use this fabric softener, which smells amazing. It's probably way too much might need to review that but I just love the smell if you can get this in your country it smells incredible the apple blossom and almond fabric softener it's um 
made completely of, the packaging is made of recycled plastic as well, so that's really good. Willkommen! And then I also have the tumble dryer, but I don't use that so much because I also have a heated rail, which costs, I think it's like 1p an hour. <laughs> Diego's very happy because I have, I feel like I'm showing you all my new things, but we've moved into a house and we have finally got space for all the things I've always wanted. And um, this new simple human dog food bin, because we wanted somewhere easy to store Diego's dog, dog food that was airtight. And you just lift it up like that. It's two whole bags of his dog food. We use a Kila whole prey and it's got a magnetic scoop and he has two scoops. Um, this was an amazing purchase. I got it on Amazon. I'll link it down below. I absolutely love it and it keeps it really, really fresh as well. Happy? Do you approve? Should we go on a walk now? Stand up. Oh, he's so clever. Yes. Look at that. It's such a beautiful day. Um, it is quite cold though, don't be fooled. Um, but the wind's died down, so I'm going to go on a little walk. In this period of lockdown, um, I have been trying to get, I've been going on a run every day, uh, just a short one, uh, five kilometres, and um, I also want to keep my steps over 10,000 per day. So that's what I've been trying to do. I can't believe I'm on camera in my stupid bonnet. I might link them down below because they are brilliant. I use them in the summer when I'm working out on the farm. Probably the least of your worries at the moment, but I know I could have used someone telling me where to find good bonnets. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, have you got a stick? That is a lovely stick, but watch your eye. Watch my eye. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're so proud of it. Come on then. Yes, off you pop. Such simple pleasures. Look at that. Isn't it just beautiful? Um, I can really see spring coming. Got some rape over there that's starting to bloom. Oh, it's exciting. I love it when all the nice weather starts to come. Don't worry, we'll have rain soon. Put me back in my place. Diego! I can hear splashing. Has he gone in the sp You've gone in the stream! <laughs> um, this is the place where I pick all my daffodils for flower arrangements. Um, but they seem to be kind of at the end of their life now. Here we are. The best time to pick them is when they are buds still. You'll be amazed at how quickly they open up. That will be gorgeous tomorrow. But I wonder if I can actually find enough to make a full jug. Oh, there are a couple just down there, but there's a stream at the bottom and it's very steep. Wait a second. Oh, here's another one. I had arranged to go on a beekeeping course. An introduction to beekeeping, because I'm... Um, oh, there's another one there, actually. That looks really nice. Um, I'm really interested in flowers and also bees. So Will's brother's girlfriend and I were going to go on one, but it's been cancelled. But we've, um, we're keeping it as credit and we'll do it later on in the year. I'm so excited about that. Uh, one of my life dreams, I've got a couple of simple life dreams. One of them is to have a cut flower garden so that I can go out and pick cut flowers for my rooms and also I would like to plant cuttable flowers around the um, farm so that when I go on walks I can stop and pick flowers but this is just a dream and there are more important things in life but it is a very good dream I do think. I didn't know anything about farming before I got together with Will. Oh this is risky. <laughs> oh it's wobbling. Oh my god I don't think I've ever been over that before. Um, yeah I didn't know anything about farming and now I have fallen in love with it is a wonderful way of life. You get to spend a lot of time in nature. Where's my dog? Doggy! And um, you get to learn lots of new things. You get to meet other people in the same industry, but then you also get a lot of peace and quiet, a lot of space. That's one really nice thing. Oh yeah, we'll make it today. <laughs> um, I know 10,000 steps isn't actually that much, um, but in the winter, it's a lot for me. In the summer, I can do well, I think I've done 30,000 some days. Oh my god, gold mine! Look how many there are! Oh, I'm gonna have to go for this.
out with the old and in with the new. I'm sure I can make them look more glamorous <laughs> than that. I absolutely love having fresh flowers in my kitchen and on all other surfaces if possible. Possible? Possible. I mean, it's looking slightly rustic. It was slim pickings, I must admit. <laughs> I don't want to pick too many, especially when there aren't so many left. Um, but they will open up and look beautiful. We've got one more meeting today with our financial advisor at 6.30, it's in 15 minutes, and then we're gonna have dinner and we're gonna chill. I need to remember to look into that lens. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. It was such a mundane day. Um, I did do work in between shots. Um, but some of the work I can't show you yet. <laughs> um, but let me know what you think, if you like it. If it was totally boring, that's okay. But that would mean that I shouldn't do vlogs anymore because my life is pretty boring. Anyway, I will see you for another video, hopefully very soon.